Did you guys have a lot of crazy parties at your school? Uh, there's a few among the athletes, but you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> there's gonna be one when I get home, that's for sure. <laughs> it's a small town, like one of the most popular bars is actually behind a gas station. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, guaranteed. It's called the Whiskey Junction. Yeah. It's awful. <laughs> Do you have a big party scene out there? We try to, but I don't know. When when you live in a town of 30 people and half of them are old, you can't really have a big party. Wait, 30 people? Well, I think there's 31 now because Jed had a baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just say your name. <laughs> Jessica. Okay. Diana. Jason. And Brianna. Okay, and where are you guys from? We're from Henderson State University in Arkadelphia, Arkansas. My name is Gian. I'm from Augustana College in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Okay. I'm Megan and I'm from Augie too. Let me tell you what these guys just told me a little while ago. Um, they have a dry county and I was just wondering, you know, what you do for fun in a dry county. So they're going to tell me. We go to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do at Walmart? Uh, walk around in our pajamas and buy stuff. <laughs> That's about all. <laughs> so tell me what you guys do for fun in South Dakota. Well, we kind of go to a Lutheran college in the middle of nowhere, so there's not really much to do. We go. We have coffee houses too. A place called Three O's. A coffee house. A coffee house. And there. waffle house. And a waffle house. That everybody goes to after the parties. All right. So. so, so what? What is a party like at your school? Oh, booze is trucked in. Any crazy parties over at that Lutheran school of yours? <laughs> um, Once in a while. <laughs> yeah. You have any stories about that you want to tell? Not really. <laughs> uh, Did you just get it from like the neighboring county or something? Yeah, the school yeah. pretty much looks the other way. It, they know what happens. It's every Thursday night and they just, they don't bother anybody. What we do is whenever there's a party, we drive 30 minutes like about at 4 in the afternoon and go get all the alcohol, like a whole truck full of alcohol. <laughs> so we have nice. enough to last all night. South Dakota is a good experience. I learned about cows and corn and <laughs> agriculture. <laughs> what happens if you would get pulled over with that whole truck? Well, somebody would be in jail. Yeah. It's uh, considered bootlegging, if I remember. It's like, it's huh? crazy fun. It's bootlegging if you're caught with more than like a bottle of alcohol. So did you guys ever go cow tipping? No, I never have. Oh. The students at USD and SDSU do that, so. <laughs> those, what schools do those? South Dakota State and University of South Dakota. So they're more crazy than the Lutheran school? Probably, I would think so. I think they're just bigger rednecks. <laughs> oh! So why don't you guys tell me about a crazy party experience you've had? She's the Who's crazy first? party girl. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, one time my freshman year I went to a frat party without any friends and I got really drunk so I ended up dancing on the bar in the kitchen. <laughs> all right! It was fun though. Antonia. Picking her victims. Stalking them carefully. Which ones will she pick? Will they have a story to share? Or will they give her the cold shoulder? Let's watch. Tell me your names, please. I'm Brian Smith. And, and where are you from? I'm from Asbury College in Kentucky. Kentucky, and where are you from? My name's Joey Massara, and I'm from the same place. I'm Josh Foreman from Mississippi State University. Okay. And I'm Alex Diaz from Mississippi State University. All right, so uh, tell me the story of yours. All right, um, back at Asbury, we got some crazy stuff going on on our hall. Um, one of the things is called Soapy Bottom. Uh, well, I went to an editor's conference over the summer in Athens, Georgia, at the University of Georgia. And we were in Atlanta for one night, and um, it's like about 50 college editors and we drank a lot the whole time and one night we were gonna have the tour to Wyndham because of the name of the hotel we were staying at was the Hotel Wyndham and okay. Lance Armstrong had just won the Tour de France. And uh, it's in our bathroom we have like a an opening where there's a stalls and then there's just this open space mm -hmm. which is tile okay. and so we uh, wet it all down with water and put soap on the floor and slide around on our butts. <laughs> So we found these two wheelchairs in the basement of the hotel and after some pretty serious drinking we I was rehearsing or I was practicing in the hall wheeling myself up and down the hall and the editor from the University of Southern Maine uh, stood behind me and started pushing me as fast as he could. Isn't that kind of dirty though? It's in a bathroom. 
we we clean it up a little bit before <laughs> beforehand so so is this a drunk event negative no no it's a christian college so oh you guys go to christian college okay yeah. his coordination was so bad that he rammed me right into the wall <laughs> Oh no! And I fell down. Did you hurt yourself? Yeah, I hurt my leg and got mad at him and oh, woke man. woke all the people up across the hall and everything. <laughs> Do you have a big bruise or anything? Yeah, I, I did on my leg. No. Oh. Is that not good? No, that's cool. Hey, I didn't know that. So do you do this as well? No, I'm on a different hall, but we got a little finals tradition. <laughs> so you woke up with a headache and a bruise. Yeah. <laughs> the tour to Wyndham, unfortunately, never happened. Oh, that's sad. That, that would have been pretty funny, seeing a bunch of people down in wheelchairs running around. Yeah. Cool. All right. You got something to tell me about at home, maybe? At home, maybe. Um, Week of finals to release uh, a little stress and tension. We have a little girl's bike on our hall, it's about this big, and uh, I get on it and ride down the hall as fast as I can, and kids uh, <laughs> throw like playground balls, basketballs at me and try to knock me off, and that's a good time. The hurricane season came, uh, I think it was hurricane, the last one, I can't remember which one it was, yeah. Jenny, one of those, and we got hit pretty good with a lot of rain, and somehow Josh is my uh, editor-in-chief sent me out to get <laughs> hurricane pictures. Alright, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Alright, cool. Thank you guys. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, have all a good time at the convention. Thanks, you too. The last thing I expected was uh, all the sorority houses and fraternity houses just gathered everybody and went to our amphitheater and it was just, I would say about three feet tall water and it was mud and everybody was swimming in the mud. <laughs> And in order to get photos, I had to actually get in the mud, and I got pretty sick after that. Uh, Chris Licata from the University of Connecticut. I'm Cassie Anderson, and I am from Wayne State College in Nebraska. I'm Chris Lichty. I'm also from Wayne State. I am Derek Blair from Asbury College. Okay, and tell me your embarrassing story, Chris. Uh, at UConn, we have a thing called Spring Weekend. It's pretty much just one gigantic party where thousands of kids are shopping and get drunk, and pretty much the entire weekend you're pretty much wasted. Okay, um, this is a story about our trip. We've just kind of been having some funny little moments on the way down. Um, to start off, we were coming down and we have a new, new advisor, so he's not quite used to all of us and we were driving by the porn shops <laughs> on the way down by the interstate and we, we were trying to convince him to stop and he didn't understand that it was a joke and he just kind of kept looking at us like we were really weird <laughs> and addicted to porn or something. The most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me is on a date. I was going to a Cincinnati Reds game and we'd gone to Chick-fil-A and they didn't put the lid on the cup. So Sunday afternoon after uh, whole binge drinking. I'm hungover as anything, and uh, I'm in the dining hall getting my food on my tray, and um, somebody taps me on the shoulder, and I wheel around, and this really attractive girl I know says hi, just as I spill my entire tray all over myself <laughs> because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> and then when we stopped to eat in St. Louis, um, this one girlfriend of ours, she put her food down in the seat, and she went to talk to one of the advisors and this guy who's oblivious to everything came and sat down in the front seat <laughs> and sat on her food, right? Oh no. Uh -oh. And I went to take a drink and I went right in my lap <laughs> and I asked her if she could get it for me. 